Yeah, hi guys. Had some work this morning. Mm. Now I have a short break, uh, just long enough to enjoy a pipe and uh, relax a bit. And then uh, this evening I have some more meetings to get to. So I just thought it'd be a good chance to show you guys a new tobacco. It's a new tobacco that comes out every year, but it's not the same every year. It changes. Uh, it's a, a Peterson uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, 2018. See if you can see that. Yeah, so I uh, wanted to show you guys this, uh, especially this year, because I have the feeling, not sure, but I have the feeling that this might be uh, the last year that uh, this, this type of tobacco, the the St. Patrick's Day will be available uh, to buy here in the States uh, because of the FDA rulings and the, just the changes in the laws and stuff. I just have a feeling that this might be the last, the last year that um, they're able to introduce uh, a special edition tobacco. So let me show you this tobacco. Like I said, it's different every year. So it's um, it's quite a bright tobacco. Have some uh, Virginia uh, Cavendish uh, and Burley, and they say, "Well, there's no description on the tin, just the warning on the back that this will probably kill you." but there's no description of what's inside. So of course I had to, you know, look it up to, to read what the description was for this tobacco. And they say uh, there's mango and rum and some blackberry uh, in this tobacco. That's that's uh, what they top the tobacco with, the flavors. Uh, and for me, when you smell it, let me smell it again. When you smell it, I just get, um, I just get a really good fruity flavor or aroma. Yeah, I just to me it smells like uh, a dried fruit mixture, and some of that comes through when you smoke it. But for me, I just get lots of creamy notes, lots of uh, it's almost like a creamy vanilla, and then the fruitiness is is on the back side of that. So to me, this is a, a just a really smooth, creamy tobacco. So it doesn't, it doesn't really hit you that hard. It is a heavy aromatic. But, it's a really smooth smoke. 
it smokes down uh, to the bottom pretty smooth and creamy but I think on the last part the last third of the bowl the flavors really decrease and it doesn't get harsh it doesn't really get bitter but you're just kind of left uh, hanging without those flavors that you had in the beginning and that you wanted uh, to keep going so that's disappointing to me the the flavors aren't able to stay there till the very end and uh, and you're just wanting more of that and wanting it to continue and that can happen with aromatics of course we know that but uh, with these uh, special aromatics or these higher quality aromatics uh, at least that they claim we really don't want that to happen so if I was to say one negative thing about this blend it would be just that that it doesn't finish very well and you really want it to it's a it's a good tobacco up until then it's really smooth it's really creamy and uh, it it really fulfills those flavors you can't really discern at least for me the blackberry and the mango and the rum but they kind of combine to make uh, just this just this fruity sense but not taking over the creaminess of the tobacco so it is a good tobacco and I would smoke it but it is disappointing in the end I'll say that much but at least it doesn't get harsh well it's cold out today snowed this morning a little bit of rain now and we're supposed to get a big snow in a few hours here uh, but I have to get back to some meetings and hoping to get home after that we'll see about that anyways uh, you guys take care and um, tr try this uh, St. Patrick's Day 2018 if it sounds good to you uh, you guys enjoy a pipe whatever you put in it and we'll talk to you again <laughs>